Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I know like me, you continue to watch the news in, in absolute horror as to the situation that is continuing to unfold out in Ukraine. Having led uh, this organization through our departure from the EU, a global pandemic, I have to say this just literally trumps everything. It, it feels so challenging uh, right now. And I guess the lack of urgency um, from our government is, is, is really pressing heavily on my shoulders at the moment. And it was a great opportunity, I felt, this week to be on the uh, Ian Dale programme, uh, their equivalent on, on LBC of any questions. So a panel of four of us discussing what is going on right now. And of course, I was asked the question around uh, food security and food supply, what effectively did this mean? And I made the point that, you know, I was quite frankly appalled at the lack of focus by government on, on food security. There is a real urgent and, and pressing need for us to work collaboratively together if we are to avoid what I would call double digit contraction in production across all sectors. I've been really pleased with the retailer meetings that I've been having. I met today with Sainsbury's and Morrison's. There is a real shared understanding that we are going to have to plan uh, to deal with this emerging crisis. And there are things that we can control. There are things that government can control and, and that really does have a role in working with the industry. Um, but front and centre of all of this, of course, is that government makes food security a, a national priority, and, and that is what is needing to happen right now. I noticed that the ambition on nature, on species recovery, on tree planting, these legislative pathways is still continuing. And I'm really supportive of that. As farmers, we want to deliver for the environment, we want to deliver for nature, but we have got to address this situation on food security that is happening right here, right now. And we have a moral responsibility globally to be able to feed our own nation in areas that we're good at. So we will keep hammering home that message, but I'm conscious that it is gonna probably take a whole chain approach to shift um, the political thinking that I'm currently encountering. But on a positive note of engagement with government, I was delighted to meet this week with Andrew Stevenson, who is, of course, the minister responsible for HS2. So I can only say that it was a very positive meeting in that he was completely on top of his brief and he absolutely shared my frustration that the compensation packages for farmers needs to be resolved, should have been resolved and that it is a very, very urgent and pressing situation. So I'll keep you updated with that. We'll keep having that engagement. But I was really pleased that the minister understood the challenges that we are facing. Now, I forgot to say it last week, but I would really urge all of you uh, to register your business with AHDB. That registration process closes on March the 31st, so there's not much time left. I registered my business last weekend. It really doesn't take long. It takes less than five minutes. So please do do it in order to be able to have your say. Um, so as ever, a huge amount going on. We will continue to update you on, on everything that we can on the emerging situation uh, in Ukraine and, and the fallout on the back of that and what that means. I, I look to what Europe is doing. I see. The Irish are already putting in a £400 support package per hectare uh, to encourage farmers to grow wheat. Um, so Europe is taking this seriously. It's about time that we took it seriously. We absolutely have to take it seriously. We have 60 million people in this country to feed. Food supply and food production are one in the same thing. And we need a, a rapid response from government as to how we collaborate and work together to deal uh, with this crisis in an unemotional way. We absolutely need to knuckle down and deal with it. There is a way through, but it won't happen um, by just talking about it. We need to see action uh, from government in order to evolve uh, what I believe is, is a really serious impending crisis, not just for food supply in this country, but globally as well. So as ever, 
please do take care. And I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.